We're live to Lindsay now in Damascus. Um, Lindsay, given these changes on the ground, how is that going to impact on the meeting in Geneva that's at last been agreed for the 22nd of January? Well, both sides are obviously trying to strengthen their position in advance of those talks because they want to be the ones who have the most territory. And where we are at the moment is that the government forces have a lot of the population centres, the population, but the rebel forces control a lot of territory. And the Damascus suburbs are going to be a key area. What's happening now is the government, having taken much of the southern suburbs, is trying to take the eastern suburbs. And many people here say that they are trying to starve the people and the rebels out of those suburbs. But of course, what also counts is who's backing both sides. And I think the government at the moment feels it's in a good position. Iran is backing it. And um, you know, it feels that, that Iran is now coming back into the family of nations. And the rebels seem unable to decide who's going to represent them at any talks. And they appear to be somewhat in disarray. Well, that is the interesting thing about Iran. I mean, here they are now in midstream with engagement with the United States and other Western allies. Uh, what impact will that have on the shape of those talks? Well, previously, the Western countries, uh, the United States and Europe, had said they wouldn't talk to Iran. Iran couldn't be at those talks. Well, it is now possible that Iran will be at those talks. And that obviously would strengthen the Syrian government. It would be another voice in their favor. But I'm not sure that Western countries are yet at a point where they're going to say, OK, we accept President Bashar al-Assad. Maybe he's going to have to stay after all. They've said from the beginning that one of the conditions has to be that he must step down. And they haven't as yet changed on that. There's a long way to go between now and January the 22nd. And I'm afraid a lot more killing and destruction before then too. Lindsay Hilson, live in Damascus. Matt.